to our channel. So the last couple videos have been, you know, story times, some difficult topics. Um, our channel is relatively new, so I'll link everything if you want to catch up with our family. But today I thought I'd do something a little more fun. So I'm decorating for fall. We're going to take you along and give you some tips on how you can spruce up the home. Before we get into actually decorating, let me just show you an overview of all the things I got and kind of where I got it from a little haul. So most of my stuff I got from either Amazon, Target, or Home Goods. Honestly, this year with inflation, things that I usually get for like $15, $20 was a lot. So I'm reusing a lot of the stuff from the last two years and just kind of repurposing them around the house to the new ways to decorate and just sprucing it up. I did get some new stuff off Amazon, but it was very small. Most of the stuff is reused. So I got this sign from TJ Maxx and it's just a fall sign. It says, Hay rides, bonfires, leaves, and pumpkins. I put this in our coffee bar last year, but I might do something different this year. And then off Amazon, I got this, um, these two bags. I put them in Ziplocs because I was storing them from last year, but they came in a box, obviously, and they're just little foam leaves, pumpkins, acorns, and I'm going to show you how I use them. I'm probably going to change it up a little bit this year, but... For the most part, you can pretty much do anything with them and kind of play around with them, so I like these. Um, and then I'm just going to switch our dining room area to more fall colors. I'm going to use this gold um, tablecloth, and then I'm going to switch our kitchen. So I got kitchen towels that are um, that have the fall colors and like some pumpkins and things like that. And then I love my throw pillows. But throw pillows are really expensive and so usually I just keep our regular throw pillows and then I get throw pillow covers and I got these off Amazon this year and they're just um, really really cool and what I did this year was I tried to get fall stuff that kind of incorporated our colors for our apartment already so our apartment's like blue gray white a little bit of green and so even though I had the fall colors in these I thought they were good because they also incorporated blue and they still match the apartment while still sprucing the apartment up for fall so that was kind of my theme for the for the apartment this year so see I got like four so we have four pillows in the living room and so they'll kind of go around Ooh, I put that backwards they'll kind of go around um, the area you'll see as I'm doing it um, so yeah uh, so just I have all of that some candles um, I have my my um, steamer with me and I'll kind of show you what I use that for and just some cleaning supplies because I'm going to clean as we go so let's get into it um, and I'll give you tips along the way so one of my first tips would be to really look at your space and see what your home looks like and what would look best in your home you don't want to overcrowd your home just because you're decorating for a season you still want it to look neat and clean but with the holiday season or whatever season you're decorating for and so because our house is or our apartment is um open concept i usually just focus on decorating the open spaces so that would be the living room our dining room area our kitchen and then because that's all open it kind of all comes together really nicely without looking too crowded but one of the main things i love about this apartment is that we have this big window sills and I love decorating those just in general and then throughout the season. And so I'm going to focus on that first. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is take off everything I have here and then I'll show you. This is what I usually use throughout the year and like springtime. So I'm just taking that away and kind of putting that away and changing because they're white and they kind of offset everything and they're kind of just here all year round um, I got these off Etsy someone makes them they're really pretty and they just kind of have little ridges and I really like them to just be kind of neutral in the apartment so what I mean by reusing stuff you already have so I usually have this tray here and then I usually have my little fake plants on it throughout the year and springtime and summer 
but for fall I'm gonna change it up but I'm still gonna use the tray and so I don't have to like buy another tray or anything like that right we just took off those fake plants we had for the springtime and the fall and then we're just gonna clean our tray and let it dry and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna change it up So like I said, I got these, um, so like I said, I got these off Amazon and so I'm going to kind of use some of this to decorate the windowsill. I usually have like little white candles on this side, but I'm going to repurpose those for our dining room and I'll show you about that later. So because those are missing, I'm going to fill up this space and I'm going to use this sign to fill up the space. So instead of putting it on our coffee bar this year, I'm putting it on our windowsill and kind of building from there. I got like the foam pumpkins and stuff and I'm gonna fill up the tray and then I'll show you later. and keeps it neutral so it keeps it from looking um, a little too overdone or too crowded like I was talking about before. And I love these white pumpkins too because they're also um, very neutral for the apartment but still fall and pretty. is right next to the window and so I like to keep that up to date too. Like I said we have four um, throw pillows in the living well we actually have more but I'm going to show you. Um, so like I said the ones I got off Amazon I'm just going to fill them up and then I'm going to show you what I do with them later to kind of make them pop a little bit more and so I'm going to just cover each one and then figure out where I'm going to put each one later. <music> And this is actually one of my biggest tips too. Like, instead of buying throw pillows for every season, because throw pillows are so expensive, you're just you're just gonna actually buy the throw pillow covers. Like, buy um, you can buy neutral throw pillows. So these are the ones I have in my house are blue and green. I'm just our neutral colors for our year round stuff. And then I just get throw covers for whatever holiday or whatever season I'm decorating and they're way easier to store because they just you can fold them up and put them away and then they're also they're way easier to store but also they are way cheaper like throw pillows are super expensive they can cost like 20 30 dollars for a pillow even now in like tj maxx and target they're expensive and so but the covers i got these on amazon for four for 17 and they even have cheaper ones too, but I chose these because like I said, our color scheme of trying to keep the blue still in the fall theme so that it still matched the apartment, but with a fall theme. These are actually pillow covers. Like these, the pillows that I got were actually pillows that came with, I want to say, like they're really old and plain and they just came with general, um, Oh, I think they came with the couch, right? So my couch is gray and they just came with the couch and they're just these plain um, gray pillows and I didn't want to do gray on gray. So I just bought these, which I use year round, like I said, and then um, these, which I'm actually keeping on the fall since we're doing the blue theme. I actually didn't buy a bigger pillow cover to cover this 
I'm just keeping this and this is actually a pillow this is not a pillow this is not a cover these are the only pillow pillows I actually bought and then the rest are covers but I'm actually gonna keep the blue since it goes with the fall um, like the blues that are in the ones I already got and then I'm going to just throw just uh, change out the actual covers exactly like a throw pillow and then you can just switch it out for Halloween I'm probably gonna add today I'm just doing general fall um, decorations but I'm probably gonna add some Halloween when we get closer to Halloween and when we're gonna do our Halloween stuff but right now it's just general fall no one can tell the difference and even if they can it still looks good and you can switch it around for Christmas you can switch it around for all your holidays all your seasons and then on regular times like spring and summer and stuff you can get whatever color you want just for your apartment in general. Guys, so I told you that I would also let you know my tip on why I use a steamer whenever I switch my throw pillows and throw covers. So I got these off Amazon. You cannot wash normally. I don't know if there are any, but normally the ones I get, you cannot wash throw pillows. It's like spot clean. And spot clean to me doesn't get rid of bacteria. So there's two reasons why I use a handheld steamer when doing my pillows. One, to get rid of any bacteria or dust from like the factory or anything like that. And two, because you see it looks when you stuff this pillow in here, then it looks a little wrinkled and not puffed up. And giving it that quick steam is going to get you to look a little bit more pristine and neat, kind of like you ironed it and also get rid of any dust or germs. So I'm just gonna get my steamer. I'm gonna put my steamer on. I already filled it with water. I'm gonna put it on and get these pillows steamed and then move on to the other decorations. Just this handheld steamer, you fill it with water, you let it um, heat up and it's really easy to kind of move around and do projects with. obviously our dining room area and our kitchen and so actually funny story so I had a centerpiece that I made that I would use every year and kind of put out and it was fall themed and this year it broke and then when I went to go replace it things were so expensive so I was like I'm not spending 30 or 40 dollars for a centerpiece that's like fall themed or anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I'm actually gonna use this decorative plate that we already had here um, we were using this during the summer and the spring as part of our centerpiece for our dining room and so I'm actually going to use this I'm going to transform it for fall using the decorations that I got from Amazon and like I said I was going to reuse those candles from our windowsill the white ones that I took out and replaced with the fall sign so I'm going to use these candles the stuff from Amazon and that plate to kind of create a little um, fall centerpiece <music> Last but not least, I'm going to decorate this little corner. Right now it's for, it has my plants and I kind of always keep it decorated. I'm gonna keep the plants there, but I'm gonna kind of spruce it up for fall. I like keeping the kitchen super neutral because it is neutral, it's white and gray and, and it's open concept, like I said, so it's gonna be open and out there in the apartment. So like I said, keep an eye on what your layout of your apartment is and how you want it to kind of flow as you decorate. So because of that, I'm gonna use a lot of the white pumpkins that I have, the fake white pumpkins and the fake acorns to kind of keep that rustic fall look without too much changing of the colors. Then probably like today I'm using one of my favorite um, candles. 
it's called clean kitchen and it literally smells like you just cleaned your kitchen and it's fresh and it's like citrusy but um i'm probably gonna switch this out i'm gonna use this for now just because i'm doing the white and rustic fall theme in the kitchen here but i am gonna probably switch this out for a halloween candle when i update 